Hi Aries, this is your reading with me for November 15th to the 21st. We're going to have a look, see what's coming through and tell you exactly what I see. Now, I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that my intention manifesting items are on my website, um, which have thousands of five-star reviews. Reviews. So if you wanted to check out the review section, it is there. There's items for different categories and there's different uh, things like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse. Um, and there's also crystals, candles as well and sage. So there's like loads of different ones for different intentions. Everything's meditated with, handmade, saged, so definitely do check it out. There's also these handmade crochet, like these are literally handmade. There's a video on my um, on the listing for this as well that shows. So um, yeah, you can put it under your pillow and they're for different intentions. So again, you can check it all out, you know, down below. All right, so let's have a look and see Aries. 15th to the 21st. So some of you have been thinking a lot about things that are incomplete, right? Things that worry you, projects, people that are just not perhaps doing as much as they should be towards you and you think to yourself, come on, I need a bit more from you. And so I just feel here with the Page of Pentacles, there is a sense of you sort of getting a bit more of a fresh start. I feel especially with the Queen of Wands as well, you do have expectations, right? Those are your expectations and I feel very much so that there's a sense here of so, some of you just feeling absolutely rejuvenated, like, wow, you know, why am I worrying about this? I've got other things that I need to do. I got other things that I need to worry about. Why am I putting so much of my focus, time and energy on this particular thing when there are so many other things that I need to get done and that there are other things that I need to do? So there is this sense of like just feeling inspired, rejuvenated, um, working really hard, progressing towards the things that you need to get done. Seven, eight, nine of pentacles, right? So we see here this progress that I really pick up on. You're feeling strong within yourself. You're feeling abundant within yourself. You're trying to get done tasks. You're trying to work through things. You're trying to be as genuine as you can to people around you. And you're thinking, okay, well, if they're not going to give me that energy, then actually, do you know what? I need to take that back for myself because I'm not going to sit here and give my energy and, and throw it in a void where nothing comes back. Because some of you are just so fed up that the kind of energy that you're giving out to others is not being reciprocated and you feel frustrated and it's just really, really annoying. And I think that the main thing here is that a lot of you are going to find your power um, specifically in this month where you think to yourself, you know what, like I need to do this and I need to get myself together and I have to do this for me. So I just feel here that a lot of you are going through like a fresh new start where you just honestly want to put yourself first and you want to move forward and you want to do things for yourself that feel good, especially in terms of like healing um, and working hard and having, you know, these goals because a lot of you have been dealing with like people, for example, who are just not doing enough towards you and who are taking you for granted or taking you for a ride and you just are sick and tired. Like, oh my gosh, I'm literally like rubbing my eyes as I'm like talking about this because my eyes feel like really tired and really drained and I wasn't really feeling like this before I started the reading, but here I am now feeling like this and it's obviously an energetic thing. Mercury goes conjunct Mars also on the 10th of um, November and what's really important about that is that obviously this is for, for the 15th to the 21st, to, I totally know, but Mercury will still be conjunct Mars at the time of the 15th to the 21st. So I wanted to say that as well is that this energy of Mercury being conjunct Mars is just crazy. It's like you... You know, because you are, if you're an Aries, okay, whether you're an Aries sun, moon, rising or Venus, Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is the planet of like pursuit. It is the planet of war. It is the planet of action, but to like such a, such a degree. So, you know, you're kind of sick and tired of people that aren't communicating well with you. You're sick and tired of it. You're just like, what is wrong with you? Like, come on, you know? Um, so you're just, you're fed up and instead you're channeling that energy back to yourself, which I think is very important. You're putting yourself first. Some of you are pampering yourself. You're doing things for yourself. You are, you know, you're like really going towards your goals and your dreams. You're spiritually taking care of yourself. You're doing as much as you can for yourself rather than feeding all that energy to everybody else who's like doing nothing towards you. Okay. So that's what we see here. Ace of cups. We have here the two of 
Yeah, see, you're even comparing yourself to other people. Now, I know, I know it's not healthy to compare yourself to other people, but you're thinking, wow, they don't have unhealthy relationship. Wow, you know, their connection just looks pretty, pretty um, flowing and beautiful. And it's true, you can't always see what's going on in the inside, but I feel like a lot of you are kind of looking at your own like relationships and you're thinking, why is mine so difficult? Like, why is mine like this? Why is mine not giving me as much as I, I want it to? Why... Why, why am I struggling here? Is it because I'm holding on to these, like, you know, um, expectations, which, you know, are leading me to have more suffer, suffering? Or, or is it because I'm with the wrong person? Like, a lot of you are going to have a lot of these, like, thoughts going through your mind where you're looking out into the world and thinking, do you know what? Things perhaps shouldn't be this difficult. Like, why is it this difficult? Is it because it's not right? And so I see a lot of these thoughts coming into your mind where a lot of you just want to go down this road of a fresh new start. You've just had enough. And... You may have even try talking to this person. For some of you, they may have shut you out. For some of you, you may be in separation with someone or in a situation that is just not feeling good. I feel like judgment here is about moving forward, interestingly enough, right? And and making that decision to kind of change things around. Now, you know what happens when you move forward. People do come back around. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind, okay? Um, <laughs> it really does, uh, you know, it does do things. But you just don't see this coming. You don't see the fact that you would feel this way in this week. And you also don't see the fact that you would kind of think about, you know, the healthiness of certain connections and relationships. You might think to yourself like, oh, I'll just stick around and wait for this to happen. But actually now you're thinking, wait a second, why am I sitting there and waiting for things to happen when I could take power and control back for myself, put myself first and have those healthy, strong boundaries, then what happens? Well, then what happens is you start to feel more aligned with yourself with the king and the queen of wands, sorry, swords, <laughs> king and the queen of swords, king and queen of swords, we have queen of wands here. Um, so yes, two of cups, really powerful, obviously like super, super significant. This really does go to show though, if you're like struggling in a relationship, it's almost like taking your power back is actually what triggers also a fresh start in the connection between the two of you. So remember what I mentioned with judgment, it's like when you make that conscious decision to like really put yourself first and to take care of yourself, it's almost like it triggers, you know, it triggers whoever's not being so kind to you to actually come back around anyways. So, oh, well, there it is. Okay. So yeah, sometimes I say things and, um, you know, it doesn't make sense in the, <laughs> when I say it, but then it does after. So yeah, remember I said King and Queen of Wands, King and Queen of Wands. I mean, they have to be in my um, thumbnail, you know, both the king and the queen, like they have to be in it, of course. Basically, what I'm seeing here is that you have options. Either you can move forward completely, okay, or you can move forward and then this person comes to you and then you can say yes to them. So actually, do you know what? You have options and choices here. You have options and choices. I feel like moving forward is your only option though in the context of, especially if you're struggling in a relationship or you're struggling in terms of like certain goals and dreams or projects, like honestly, like moving forward is your path forward. There's no like waiting around that's gonna like help things to be better. It's, it's like, you know, you doing you and putting yourself first is actually what allows everything to move forward and progress anyway. So the Ace of Swords here shows that sense of victory. Moon here is about using your intuition, which I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Um, but as a fire sign, sometimes using the intuition is sometimes a bit more of a challenge. It's not as perhaps easy sometimes for, for some. So, you know, if you're a fire sign and you have like water in your chart, very high up in your like moon, you're rising, then of course, you know, you're a lot more intuitive. But sometimes when people have like more air and more fire in their chart, they sometimes can find it more like difficult to be intuitive. I'm just not, I'm not generalizing here, but um, sometimes fire signs do find it a little bit more difficult, but not all of them. But it depends on your birth chart. I just feel like here, you're gonna be much more intuitive and look for a fonts four of wands. I'm telling you, okay? I'm telling you that this is not terrible in the grand scheme of things. I just feel like a lot of you won't expect to feel this way where you have so much power. You may not even expect to do so much for yourself, but this week really does trigger a lot for you. And I think that you should be really proud of doing things more for yourself and you're working towards your goals, your dreams, your ambitions. And if someone here is really annoying you in terms of relationship, I just feel like you're kind of just getting to a point where you're like, come on now, I need to see more effort you know, you're sick and tired of waiting around, you don't want to do that, and it's almost like when you stop waiting around for them, that's when they start to put in more effort, that's when they start to come towards you, that's when they start to want to, like, build with you, work towards you, you know what I mean? So, it triggers a fresh start, but it's like moving forward actually does that, not anything else, so, 
yeah this is your reading Aries um of course if this resonated with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on private paid readings reading giveaway and of course intention items which are on my website I also have TikTok and Instagram if anyone wants to follow me on there feel free to do so as I post short readings on there every single day and take care everyone